What is going on everybody? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome back to Minecraft. Welcome back to our Clash of Clans village. As you can see today, I have built some outside stuff. We're going to go take a look around and we've also got a very big decision on down there, the barracks. I want you guys to pick what is best. I really can't decide. We're also going to be building four things. You can see I've already preset them behind me over there. So we're going to go check those out. But first and foremost, let us go and have a look at the barracks. Uh, now, can I hear music? I can hear music. Where's this music coming from? Mr. Golem, are you playing music? Oh, hello. You playing music? No, he's not. Oh, wait. Maybe it's the jukebox. Oh, here he is. It's my guy. It's the party animal. What are you playing? What's this? This is... He was playing this music disc. Alright, let's put that back in. You can you can keep that going. Maloney. You can keep on playing Maloney. Anyway, enough about that. Let us go out and have a look at the barracks. So, as you can see, there were two designs that I went with with the barracks for the peck ahead because that's not... That was what we were struggling to design. Uh, somebody here said to do this design. It looks really cool. Oh, the uh, diamond with the two really big horns I think looks really nice because it does resemble the kind of blue color uh, that the pecker head has and then there is also this one over here which has these same horns uh, but is using the skeleton head instead so what I'm gonna do in the comment section is I'm gonna put one comment that says skeleton head uh, and one comment that says diamond head and I want you to go down there and like whatever one you think is best. Personally, I think the diamond one's the best because the skeleton head, sadly, is just a bit too small. But let me know in the in the comments. Go like them and see which one wins. And then I'll change them over to, uh, to whichever one wins for the next episode. As you can see, I've mixed them up so far. So we've got a diamond head over there. Uh, we've got a skeleton head. We've got a diamond head. Uh, and I've kind of put them around everywhere. So what we're going to be doing today is building four things over here. Now, this is actually going to be quite hard to do. We're going to be building our first... Well, if we get onto this fourth thing, I'm not sure if we will. Uh, this here is going to be our first ever elixir pump, hence why I've uh, put out the spaces in gold. Uh, this one here is going to be our first dark elixir drill, which is going to be quite confusing because the dark elixir drill is a very obscure and uh, unique shape. Here is going to be our first builder's hut, hence why it's all woody. And then this lovely big zone you can see right here is for the army camp, which takes up so much space, but is actually quite small. The actual part of it uh, is only in the center here. So let's get building uh, and let's see what's what. So should we start off with the should we start off with the builder's hut? Let's start off with the builder's hut because it's quite easy. Now I've got this wood to work as the corners because the corners of his base of his base of his building are actually like that. Uh, and then he has a big wide open door that is literally that big. Uh, and then he has kind of stone. So this would all be stone. Let's see if... Will this stone look nice? Yeah, that looks quite nice. Uh, like that. He actually has a window as well. So I'm going to leave that as his window. Uh, and then he has a dark kind of gray stone for his roof. So let's see if we can find... Aha! A gray wool will do the trick perfectly here. Um, so that's going to be... Is that going to be how tall his building is? Yeah, I, th I think so. Uh, the builders are pretty short. Uh, so they don't need a big building. So let's build this kind of around. Just like that. There we go. So that's going to be the window. This is going to be the front door. The floor actually looks like it's all stone. So let's give this guy a very nice but cold stone floor. And the back does not have a window. It doesn't actually show that this side has a window either. But I'm going to give him a window uh, just so that he can see out and everything. We don't want the builders to feel trapped in his in his builder's hut. And that is literally the builder's hut nearly completed. Uh, we do need to do the roof. Now, the roof actually has a stone, uh, a stone axe, I think. No, stone axe. Uh, it has an axe and a saw on it. Yeah, it looks like a saw. It's quite hard to see. Um, and I really don't know how to do that unless I could get some kind of if I put this down like this uh, And we had a look for a painting I don't know if we could get a painting that could resemble it at all. That would be really cool if we could so let's see Does the painting work? Maybe the painting's not gonna work No painting doesn't look like it's gonna work. Does it have to be on like a side surface? Maybe it does no, that's not going to work. Um, so what else could we put? We could just put a couple of uh, stone stone slabs on there or something instead. So maybe we should do that. Or we could... The problem is there's nothing thin we can put on top. So let's put some of these uh, pressure plates on there instead. And let's see what that looks like. So if we do a, a pressure plate and we'll use the wooden one as well as like the handle... We might be able to kind of get it looking all right because they kind of cross over as well, which is um, a little bit strange. Actually, this for this one should be that's a handle, and then it has the kind of 
pickaxe looking like that. And then this one here is the saw, so it has the, the handle there, and it goes across. Uh, that's gonna be the builder's hut. It doesn't look amazing, uh, but it doesn't look too bad. The It looks really open, actually, which is kind of confusing, because it doesn't look that open in the game. Uh, but it does actually, it looks like it almost has an overhang, so I'm gonna give him an overhang for a roof. This is almost like a, a his guttering. <laughs> like so. Oh my god, that's just made- no, that's ridiculous. Take that back. That looks absolutely crazy. The builder's hut just had a crazy hat on it. Let's leave it how it is. Uh, that looks pretty nice. It's a pretty simple building, uh, but there's not much more I can do to it, to be honest, than that. Unless I actually gave him a door, but none of the buildings in this game seem to have doors. So I'm gonna leave it how it is, just like that. I'm actually pretty happy with that roof. Yeah, that roof looks cool. Alright, so let's go to our first gold mine. So for this, we're obviously going to need gold. That is going to be the most important bit. Uh, we're going to need some kind of pink uh, for the elixir in the center. So probably some stained glass will look quite nice. Uh, we've got that, which will be for... Wait, should we... Maybe not stone. We need something... They don't have anything chrome in this game. No. Uh, do they have anything silver? No. I guess we're just going to have to go for like an iron... Um, an iron block of iron then for that. And then we're going to need some normal glass that is not stained. Oh my god, my spelling. White stained glass? No, we'll just go for normal glass. And that looks like that is going to be pretty much all we need. So, what has it got? So, it's got a few different upward bits. Like so. So, we're going to make them three high. And then it has kind of a gap between each one. Uh, but on this one, this one actually turns into, uh, it turns into a pipe. So that's kind of interesting, and it goes a little bit higher than the others. Yeah, that's about right, I think. And I think they have this on most of the sides, so they have... Actually, no, all of this side is uh, is pipes. Yeah, all of this side seems to be pipes. And then it goes to... And then it's got a big pipe. This is going to be really hard to build. So these here are just normal... These go up gold, go up gold, like that. And then these ones over here are all like different weird pipes. So that's going to be strange. And then we also have one mega pipe on this bit here. So this is going to be the the kind of the biggest pipe that goes on top like so. Oh my god, this is so confusing. Uh, and that goes in. This one goes... Where does that go? I guess that goes like that. And then this one also goes in and in. And then we have a gold core like that. With the big pipe where it kind of meets. Actually, oh, could we get... Do we get iron stairs? No, we don't, do we? Oh, man. We could always use a trap door for that piece. And see if the trap door will work. Just to give it that little bit of different look on the top. Uh, yeah, that looks alright. Does that look alright or does that look bad? I don't know. We'll put that there for now and see what, see what it comes up like. Uh, and then these ones just kind of go in... Like so. Like so. And like so. So that's going to be what that looks like. It then has, I think it has a gold floor. So I'm going to do the whole of the whole of the floor of this uh, a nice golden color. Let's get the oh, let's get the whole floor gold. Dun dun dun. Just so it always has that gold tinge around it because that is the main color really in the elixir pump. And then it has a nice elixir core. Now the one that we're actually looking at at the moment doesn't have a much elixir. Uh, so we're just going to kind of fill it like that. Oh god, this is going to be really hard to do. Fill. We need to run around the side. Dun dun dun. And then it goes to kind of clear as we go up. Like that. So, oh, hello bunny rabbit. So that is my elixir pump. Oh my god, does that look... I guess, uh, you know... I'm kind of looking at it that I can see there, and that doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe. Oh, this could look quite cool. If I put that there, and then if I put this on that one, that looks maybe a little bit better. I'm not 100% sure on the trap door. Oh, no. We need to time set. Time set. Zero. Yes. I'm learning all these commands. All right. So that is going to be uh, the first elixir pump, which is pretty cool. I think that looks pretty good. So if we're looking at this from where the camera angle looks in the actual game which is down here, that looks really, really good. I'm happy with that. All right, that's fine. Uh, and next up is to build the Dark Elixir Pump. Now, this, again, uses the gold, but I want to see if we have anything... No, brown is it's probably too brown. Well, actually, we'll use brown stained clay for the bits of the elixir. Um, and then we need... 
Uh, some brown carpet. Yeah, that could be used for the brown carpet, could be the center. And then it is kind of the same gold, but I kind of want something a little bit different colored. So let's find something a little bit more yellowy, uh, like a yellowy gold. Maybe actually a yellow wool looks quite nice. Or is there a yellow stained clay that could look pretty good for it? Let's have a quick peep. Um, yellow stained clay, that could look quite nice. That's a, a kind of, probably a better color for it. And then we can use a nice gray silver clay. Let's just use normal clay. And let's see what that looks like. Alright, so this is going to be confusing to make. This corner has a base, like so, that then has, um, it's actually quite a dark center, isn't it? It's quite a dark one. It's a lot darker than I expected. Um, this is where it drills down. So it kind of drills down here. This is, this is the drill. Um, oh, they have that thing that looks very much like a drill. Oh, what's it called? What's it called? I can't remember what it's called now. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I know there's something in this game that looks like a drill, but I can't seem to... There it is! The hopper! That's it, the hopper. Let's see if we can use a hopper. Oh, yeah! Look at that! That is absolutely perfect for a drill. If we put two on top of each... No, it's just kind of... You need to put stuff in it. Oh, that... Okay, that looks really cool. So, let's put that hopper down there, then. Nice! That's actually made it look amazing already, and we haven't even done much to it. And then that goes up into kind of the top bits... And the top bit comes backwards all the way back to wherever these come up. So then these come up here, and we have kind of a dark bottom one again. Uh, I swear I... Oh, yeah, okay. I guess I'll use clay. Uh, and that goes... Actually, that turns straight back into the yellow stuff. So that's just a kind of different base. There we go. Let's build that, build that. Uh, we need the clay bottom again. And then we need to bring it up. All right, that's looking good. And then the back of it actually has kind of a clay rear again because I think that's the, the weight for the drill itself. And then around the drill here, uh, we need to turn this kind of this whole section into a little pit, which is why I brought the brown carpet. Uh, the brown carpet was actually going to go there and then the hopper was going to go on top of it, but that's not going to work. So we're going to have to use, uh, actually, should we use black? I think black might look a little bit better for the floor. Let's bring a... Uh, Let's bring black stained clay, because that's kind of black, but it's not not completely black. It's like it's actually really it's actually quite a brown kind of black. Alright, so let's put that there, put that there, and then we need to um to put some kind of step around it. Maybe we could actually we could use steps. You know what? An oak step might work perfectly for this situation. Let's see what this looks like. Please look really good. No, we need something darker. Uh do we have any darker stairs? We do. Let's go for let's go for this stair. That's a little bit nicer. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's put that there, put that there. Um, put that there. Build all the way around it. It's awkward getting the right shape, though. <laughs> and there we have it. That is our drill. No, it kind of covers up. Ah, oh, I know what we should do. All right, we, it's all right. We can always find a way to get around this. Let's take a layer down into the earth, and then let's build it. Right, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, no, I need some grass. All right, let's get the grass. Just so we can uh, sort this out. Alright, that is exactly what we wanted. There we go, there we go. I am very, very, very happy with my build so far today. Especially that. That bottom bit looks really, really cool. Uh, the sides don't look amazing, but there's not much more I could really do about that, to be totally honest. Uh, and the elixir pump looks insane as well. So the final thing we have to do today is this right here, which is the uh, which is the army camp. So let's have a look at how this is going to work. We definitely need some kind of fire in the middle, which is going to be really hard to do, I guess. Uh, but we do need sticks as well. So let's bring some random sticks in, um, some wooden planks, and then we're going to need stones. But I don't know what we should use to make the stones look kind of jagged and dark. Uh, maybe some obsidian will go well with this one. Uh, maybe, actually, they've got kind of a red base as well, which looks kind of strange. Uh, maybe even a little bit of redstone thrown in there. Why the hell not, right? Uh, and then we'll put some we'll put some stained clay in there as well. So let's have a look at this. This is going. This is the size of the center of the army camp. So we're going to build first of all some redstone base. Is that going to be right? No, wait. Like 
So, so that's going to be our redstone base. And then we're going to throw some obsidian on here. Uh, the obsidian kind of covers it up. And this is, uh, the fire will be in the center of this. Whether this is going to work, I have no idea. Uh, and then we're going to put some obsidian in the sides in each kind of little grovel like this. So you can still see the redstone. Um, like that. So you can still see the redstone, but it's you can definitely notice that the obsidian is kind of the dark purple black rocks that we have uh, at the moment at this Town Hall level 10 base. And then in the middle, we just need to throw in basically loads of different uh, sticks and stones and anything wood, basically. Um, so let's bring some different colored wood in. With some of that. Some of that. Let's bring some different stairs in. Uh, some of those stairs. And yeah, that should be fine. Uh, and then... We need to somehow set this alight. I don't know how, if this is going to work, uh, if it's going to run out pretty quickly. Uh, it actually is, isn't all the way around. The outside is kind of, um, should be stone, I think. So let's uh, let's put that as stone. We're really trying to get as good a detail as we can in this. Uh, so let's get a nice cobblestone base for it. And build a cobblestone base. Maybe actually these should be as well. Maybe the whole of the bottom of this should just be um, cobblestone. I should have done that. Maybe I'll, I'll do that for the next one. The whole of the bottom should be cobblestone. But we'll just fill it up with wood for now. Um, like so. Let's bring some other woods in. Like that. And that should be... Actually, let's put that over there. There we go. So that looks like a really weird kind of wooden center now. And somehow we need to throw some fire in there. So let's just get a lava bucket for now and see it. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's give it a go. Ah, I burnt myself. Right, is that going to burn forever? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping it will. And then the outside of it actually looks really, really strong kind of grass color, but we can only get normal grass on this. Um, so unless I kind of do the outside on a different grass color, we're not going to be able to kind of vary the outside of it, which is going to be gonna be hard but it's, it's not too much of a problem but that guys is going to draw an end to this episode i feel we have got so much done today i am so happy with that so that there is our army camp that you can see glowing nicely that will look really good at night the builder's hut actually looks pretty cool with the uh kind of axe top and the uh sword Sword? No. Saw on the side there. The elixir pump is awesome. It's not a full elixir pump. We'll definitely get a more fuller one. Uh, and the dark dark elixir looks insane as well. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do leave a like uh, down below. And also, don't forget to check out the comment section uh, for whether you want to keep the... You can see them down there, right above my CD right now. Whether you want the Pekka head or whether you want, uh, there it is, the Skull head instead. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below and we'll be changing them very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, but until the next episode, peace out.